Okay, we're going to go ahead and continue working with our clumps. This is lesson 12 begin. So uh, now that we kind of figured out how they work, uh, I just want them to be way less pronounced than this. In fact, this is kind of just a big general clump. So I just want to see a slight, slight separation. So we'll kind of work our way down here and take down this effect. First of all, take my mask down to maybe 0.6. Uh, let's actually take the overall clump down as well to maybe three. So there we go. They're starting to separate out a little, separate out, excuse me, a little bit more. Don't worry about the weird kind of lighting artifacts. It's just the weird flat shade uh, doing its best. So uh, the clump scale, I can also take down a little bit. Um, actually, let's bring that back up. Want them to actually fill out those gaps. There we go. Okay, they're still a little too separated, but I want to adjust the other options first. Um, let's see, my cut effect I'm not using. Uh, my noise effect I'm probably going to bring down a bit. A little bit of noise is fine. I don't need too much though in the clump, so I'll introduce noise separately later. I will add maybe some correlation uh, just so that the noise kind of uh, matches from clump to clump a little bit better. I think I'm fairly happy with the flatness effect. I might even increase it a bit. Um, yeah, I kind of like that. I do, do like the way it kind of flattens those clumps out. I think, unfortunately, the curl effect is way too strong. I'm going to go ahead and turn the curl, first of all, down on the root. Actually, it looks like um, it needs to stay where it was, uh, probably at the 50% mark. It's going to come back down there to curl effect. So I'll just grab that and we'll put this at about 0.5. Yep, yeah, there we go. Uh, and we'll just turn this down. We'll do maybe 0.2. Just a little bit of curl. Okay, and now to get these just to blend a little bit better, I'm going to come back up here. And let's maybe turn the mask down to 0.4. Uh, still think it's a little bit much. Uh, they're just not blending as well as I'd like in those areas. Granted, I could always um, uh, increase the amount of clumps I have there, but I'd like this to come down a little bit more. Maybe increase my clump scale a touch more. There we go. Okay, so I now have some nice separation in the fur. I think it just looks a little more interesting. Uh, I might drop this even a bit more to 0.3. There we go. And we can shut this on and off to kind of see the difference. That's without clumping, and that's with. So what we can do now is introduce a second layer of clumping. I'll go ahead and add that in here. We'll hit OK. There we go. And we have to set up the map again. You can see it's showing it up top here now. We'll go to Set Up Maps. And this time, I actually want a lot of clumps. So uh, last time, I believe I did a density of even less than one. This time, I'm going to do a density of about five. Uh, maybe even more. Let's go to maybe about seven. There we go. Just lots of clumps. Uh, six. Let's put the difference. There we go. And looks good. I'll hit save. Okay. And you can see it's now creating clumps on top of clumps. Now we have these little smaller, tighter clumps. So let's go ahead and now bring these down a bit. Now, I don't know if I'm necessarily going to need curl effect or you know noise and stuff on these. I kind of have that on the first clump, uh, but we can still you know try it out. Let's kind of work my way down. So let's turn off the overall effect, maybe to 0.5. Just split them up a bit. Um, not huge on that. Let's actually put them back up over here, and let's try increasing the root scale a bit so they blend a bit more. That's way too much. Trying to get them to kind of take up a little bit more space on the surface. There we go. Uh, we'll go ahead and also let's increase the tip. To kind of splay that out a bit more. There we go. So it's created some nice variety in there. I do like that. Uh, it's worth checking out some of the other effects. Um, we can try a cut effect. Okay. Um, that's shortened some of the clumps. Um, I'm not sure if I like that or not. Let's turn it off. Now, I think I'm going to leave this um, leave this off, and I'm going to add my separate cut effect later. I can add a bit of noise. 
So that's the point four. And remember, we do have to actually kick up where the noise is over here. So we'll go ahead and turn again the noise off of the root, just on the tip. And this is again just for the sake of a little bit of variety. Let's go ahead and up the frequency to maybe five. That's too much. Let's do a frequency of one. So a little bit of kind of almost wave in the fur there, and we'll up the correlation pretty high. It kind of just evens itself out a bit. So there we go. Uh, I don't know if I need anything else here. Uh, the flatness, I can add maybe a tiny bit of effect to this one. Again, I want uh, the flatness effect to be at the tip. And we'll go ahead and up this to maybe 0.3. And I'll just make those clumps a little bit flatter at the ends, make them a little more pronounced. A little bit easier to see. Cool, I like that. I do think the quality of the fur is looking pretty good, even just for a viewport display. Uh, curl, mm, we can try. Let's go ahead and up the tip curl a bit. Uh, I guess it's creating not a horrible effect. I can maybe also have it dip down a bit here, so it kind of twists in and out a bit. Let's see, off. We'll just keep a very low, maybe a point 0.1, just a little bit of twist to that hair. And there we go. We've now, I think, completed uh, the work on our clumps here. Uh, and again, it's a huge change. You know, if we were to shut these off, again, that was just uh, one set of clumps, and this is without. Oops, let me turn that off there. And you can see how plain the fur looked before. Just adding these layers on just give it a lot more life, a lot more character. And again, you can go even further by actually adding in maps here to the masks, just by going create map the same way we did for our density before. OK, I'm going to go ahead and end this lesson here. And in the next lesson, we're going to go ahead and look at some other modifiers. So I'll see you guys there.